Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is the 12th day of March 2021, and we are going to give you all a stock price prediction for Zoomatica. We asked you all in our community on our YouTube channel which stock price prediction you wanted to see for today, and you choose. And overall, you guys can see 46% wanted us to do a stock price prediction for Zoomatica, and we will. Nano Dimension was second place at 40 percent so we're going to go ahead and give you all a stock price prediction for zoomedica but before i get into that if you all appreciate our stock price predictions of being in position to capitalize on the future price movement of these particular stocks hit that like button share the video and also subscribe to this channel hit that bell notification because i'm telling you you do not want to miss out on any of our predictions that we are garnering for the stock market everyone else is giving you a lot of confusion a lot of fancy technical jargon just to confuse the mess out of you to where you'd be scared to pull the trigger in any trade for us we eliminate all that we're not about that particular lifestyle we simply are here to follow the trap and ensure that we profit in the market that's it so let us go ahead and break down the stock price prediction for zoomatica real quick so now here we are. This is the daily time frame in the market for Zoomedica, right? You guys can see that this stock is in a uptrend, which is very positive to see. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to draw out the trend. We're going to follow the market. This is precisely what the trap has laid down for us. All right, the trap is the one who controls the price. Don't get it confused. Nothing else in the market matters besides where he's going to take the price. Everyone is talking about earnings per share, their balance sheet, any other positive catalyst that will move the market. The trap doesn't care anything about that. He simply is worried about bringing the buyers and the sellers together to create exactly a market. And this is what he's been doing. This is what he's been up to over the last couple of months going into 2021 he has been increasing the price of this stock now we can continue to follow that why do i know that the market in zoomedica is going through an uptrend because we've seen how he has already came and has propped up the price every time we came close to this line the market in zoomedica has maintained its strength so we've already seen what three or four opportunities to where the market in Zoomedica could has could have broken to the downside and it didn't even do it. At least there's four opportunities that the market could have fell in price, but instead it maintained the upward trend. So we're still seeing a massive trend in play for Zoomedica. So let's not get it twisted. The market here is garnering strength so far, which is a very positive thing to see right now we got that recently we've seen the market in Zumedica go lower right market high came in around two dollars and 81 cents we came all the way down here to this area of support it's around a dollar 80 so we went from 280 to a dollar 80 within a relatively short amount of time so we've seen the market in Zoomedica drop from 280 all the way down to 180, which is around 38% market drop from low. Now we've seen it go all the way down to around 54, almost 55% right there on the 23rd. But since then we brought the market closer to this area of support, which is very good to see. That dollar 80, I'm giving you all the heads up. It's important. OK, the longer that the market in Zoomedica trades above a dollar 80, we will see the we will see the price go higher because that is the area of support. If we see the market break that price, understand that that upward trend is no longer in play and you would expect the market to go lower. I'm giving you all the play. I'm giving you all the expectation as to what to look forward to in the market right before it does it. But right now, the strength is still being seen on the daily time frame. What about on the three day time frame? I like it here, even on the three day time frame. 
that the market in Zumedica is still garnering strength. Two day time frame. I like that as well. So we're going to play the strength in the market in Zumedica. Now, I'm not saying that the market is going to go all the way up to, you know, $10, $15, nothing like that. But just simply, we can't expect the market to go higher in price, right? So let's look at this real quick because my eyes are focused in on this area as a potential area to where we can see sellers. $2.26, $2.25. That's where it's at. So even though we've seen the market in Zumedica give us some strength, we have to be on guard that the market can stop going higher at $2.25. We got to realize that. And if not that, the next area is going to be here. 250. So those are the two areas that I'm paying attention to as this market trades going into the rest of March 2021. But yeah, this market in Zumedica is still giving us strength. No doubt about it. So let's do this here and I'll let you all go because this is very simple and easy to understand, right? So let's take that there. I said that what two dollars and twenty six cents. We would have to come into the market and skim off some there, obviously, but it's still decent. I mean, that's still seven and a half percent profitability to see the market in Zumedica come to that particular price. I take that. While everyone else is anticipating the market in Zumedica to go all the way up there towards fifteen twenty dollars, we'll take that seven and a half percent right before the market comes back down in price. We're trying to meet the trap where we anticipate price to go. We set a dollar eighty as support, so we're going to hold that area there as support. We break a dollar eighty, realize that the upward momentum in Zumedica is broken, and we would expect the price to go lower. Now, that's our first area of TP. TP simply means to take profit, uh, right there around seven dollars and sixty-seven point six two percent profitability in that realm. And ultimately around 250 is where we're looking for the market in Zoomedica to go. So let's take that up there to around 250. All right, so we'll do 245. All right, so we're in position now. So we're gonna track the market in Zoomedica as we continue to see this stock trade. This is our expectations. We are in position to capitalize on where the market is gonna go. Now for you, it's your turn. We are a community of people who's trying to beat everyone else in the market. So in order for us to beat these people, we need to ensure that we are in position right before them. So this is our position. We have our TP areas identified. So now we just simply need to sit back and let him work and bring the market to where we expect it to go. So what do you all see? Where are we headed in the market for Zoomedica? Let us know with a comment in the comment section. Again, let's not make this complicated because the market is not complicated. It's supposed to be easy to see as well as understand. So let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability and trade different.